right, guys, here we go. Back in action again, week number two tonight. Ready to get them fired off here. Jones Bullshit Racing League. Getting ready to go here. They're already on the grid for us out here tonight. There's a quick look at your grid. They're getting ready to go green quick on us here. Green flag out. These guys are ready to go racing. And whoa, we got one turned oh. around and a big wreck early here. Already for some of your drivers, but Matt Hayden and Modesty right now out to a great start. As they jumped the gun a little early here on us tonight, but no problem. We're able to get it back out there. Austin right there in that P3 spot. Modesty in the two, and Matt Hayden right now your leader. What a start tonight there, uh, Robert. Yeah, some of those uh, drivers in the back kind of um, messed up on start. It's going to hurt them really bad on, on this track. Uh, you know, it's a road course. There's going to be, you just got to hit your marks, hit your apexes right, make sure you corner right. Do not over drive the corner. And everything absolutely right now we see Hayden he's doing really good modesty last week really right there in the mix with Austin Edwards last week all the way to about the last 10 laps and kind of fell off pace a little bit but we'll see if he's able to get it turned back on here tonight Austin the cone Edwards right now p3 looking good as we're getting ready to get one lap into books here we got 20 laps here tonight at Summit Point and like I said it's gonna be a pleasure right now good to see Matt Hayden right now leading this thing here and that beautiful beautiful Red Bull machine and modesty there in the two as we look for a pass here are we going to get one done? Austin looking to go up to the front here early. Going to find himself working it in the P2, and he does. Great pass. Good takeover right there. Look at that, Robert. Oh, yeah, that was a perfect takeover right there. He's just running his money. He's running his line. He, he, he's looking like he's going to pass over Hayden here pretty soon. Absolutely. As you see that snap-on machine of Edwards right now looking to go back-to-back. -back. Picked up the win last week at Daytona. And he's back in action here tonight at some point. He's right on the coattail of Matt Hayden here. Matt's going to have to really get his stuff going here. Let's jump inside the cockpit here with Edwards for a moment as he tries to chase down Hayden. Got up into that grass there in the rocks. Going to give Hayden a little bit more room there. And as you see right there, Modesty looking to get on the inside of him here and maybe make up some ground there after we jumped in the cockpit there with Edwards. Saw him go into the gravel, got up into the grass, and Modesty able to get back up to his bumper there. Jones back here uh, in the four spot right now. But I tell you, man, Edwards Decone, I'm telling you, man, he's got it up there right now. He's up five spots from where he started this race. And Jarrett Lucas back here also was part of that accident, I believe. And Chris Johnson and Jimmy Johnson out now. And... There's the other Jimmy there tonight in the 33 snap on machine. So a lot of action here early as these guys get it rolling. And it looks like Modesty off the track here. We're going to take it back here real quick and give you guys a quick one here. What happened to him? He was running P3 there. And let's take a look here and see what happened. Gets up here and, well, got to slow down there a little bit there. Just, uh, you know, just a little bit. He tried to get it turned around, but, hey, there's your uh, – there's your local caution right there. As you see, Hayden still your leader. Edwards still in that two spot right now. What a battle we got up here right now. Ed Jones back here. Excuse me, Edmund Jones working his way up there. And Jarrett Lucas in that five spot. And Modesty, Modesty trying to move his way up. He was in the six. Now he's back to the five. Johnson back here in the six. What are you seeing out here so far, Robert, as we're three laps in? I'm seeing some guys tr try to overdrive it like... Modesty, he he overdrove that corner. He could, he should have slowed down a little bit. Hayden is running his line good. He's not worrying about person behind him. He's just running his race in front of him. Uh, you got Edwards coming, trying to pass him, and Edwards is trying to run his race, trying to focus on what line he uh, Hayden is running and everything. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many different turns. That's what's great about a road course. You've got so many opportunities to make the takeover uh, compared to an oval where you only got four turns. So. Uh, we're riding in the gearbox right now here of the Capsule of Time LLC.com gearbox camera. And I, I tell you what, man, these guys are getting it on. And as you see, Edwards off the track there a little bit. Big grain gained here, almost a full second here going down the back stretch. And we've got 16 laps left to go here at Summit Point tonight. And these guys are getting it going here, Robert. As we see Edmund Jones now up to the three spot. Rusty still back there in the five. And I tell you what, man, is the track going to get slicker or is it going to tighten up? Well, from my experience on some road courses, uh, you'll get a lot of uh, rubber in the corners. It's going to start uh, actually providing more grip. 
Awesome. As we look over here now, look at that right there. You're going to see Edwards is closer and closer. We saw this happen last week at Daytona with him and Modesty. And we're seeing it here again tonight with uh, Matt and Edwards. And now maybe Edwards is going to wait a little bit here to make this pass and let Matt run around a little bit and think he's got something. But we'll see. But right now, I tell you, Matt's been running a very, very fast line, Robert. Oh, yeah. He is picking the right line. He's picking the right turns. He's breaking perfectly. He is throttling out of the corner perfectly. He's just getting there. But we see uh, Edwards, he, he's making the pass. Yeah, he's going down the back here and looking down the front, and he's going to make that pass going into turn one. And, yeah, he will make the pass, and uh, Matt's going to be settling. And, oh, my goodness, he's off the track, and maybe a little overconfidence there, but we got uh, Edwards off the track here. We're going to take a quick look here as he goes off the track. We had the cameras on him, but here's your moment right here where he just forgot to – Maybe used the brakes a little bit there, and and uh, for some reason didn't pop up. Let's wind it back here for you. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, just gets in there. He just needed about another uh, 12 foot of track there, and he might have been all right, Robert. Yeah, he just the moment he made that pass, he just carried all his speed in the corner, and that's what messed him up right there. Yeah, as we see right now, Hayden trying to get it going here in the Red Bull machine, and he was he he got passed, overtaken, and. Uh, and like I said, now uh, Edwards is going to have to really put the hammer down. We've still got 15 laps here, which is plenty of time in a road race. But I tell you, the, no mistakes have been made by Matt so far, as I've seen, Robert. Yeah, there's none. Uh, he's not making no mistakes. Edwards made that one mistake. I think he can actually make it, uh, getting his position back, get P1 again. Yeah, absolutely, as we see Edmund Jones right now working his way up here and uh, – I tell you what, another fast car here. Last week he finished P3 at Daytona. He's sitting P3 right now. Uh, the one guy that's really struggling here tonight, Rusty. Rusty back here again, and it shows that he may have went off the track. Not 100% sure, but he's going into pit road. And a tough break here tonight for Rusty, who was P2 last week at Daytona. So uh, looks like he's going to be coming on into pits. And a few guys coming in with him here. I'm not sure exactly uh, what happened to these guys or why they had to go into the pits. But they look like they both maybe. Got a little bit of damage there, eh? Let's take a look here and see if I can find the off track here with Rusty. Okay, let's pull it up here. And that looks to be it right there. Just, oh boy, he got way over there. And Yep, them tires are soft, but they can tear some shit up. So, uh, unfortunate for him, he's able to get it rolling again, but he's going to be in the pits. And that's nowhere you want to be on a road course. You do not want to be in the pits. But right now, he's up to the five spot. So, Jarrett Lucas still spending some time. One lap down, but the good battle up front here again with Matt and Edwards, as you see, Robert. Look at this right here. He's trying to make another pass here. Oh, yeah. he's, he's Hopefully he can actually make this pass and not overcorrect and run to get up front. But he is running his line, and he's going for that pass right there. He He's about to take it in this corner, and there he goes. He's got it. Yeah, he did a great pass right there. And, and, and what not to be known as a good passing zone right there. Edwards able to lock it in and get, at, get it dialed in there. And Matt right there, you saw him bobble a little bit, got into the grass, but he was able to maintain his vehicle. And right now, I think this is uh, Austin DeCone Edwards' race to win here so far. So we're going to see if he can get up here and loop through some lap traffic here. As he's got one right there in front of him, it should be no problem. And it looks like the guy is going to give it to him, which he does. So. We appreciate that. I believe that's Lucas there in that yellow machine. No, not Lucas. That is, who is that back there? Oh, this guy's racing side by side here with a lap car. That's Rusty Modesty and Jimmy Johnson going at it there. And that was the other Jimmy there in the 33, allowing uh, Matt to get by him also. So I tell you what, these guys are doing really good here with 12 laps left to go here in the Jones Bullshit Racing. If you guys are looking for road course, man, and you guys want to do all types of other stuff, man, check out Jones Bullshit Racing. Brought to you by Edwards Racing Setups. Check them out. Uh, really good guys. Very happy to be a part of this uh, broadcast so uh, guys, for this league. Mistake. Oh, here I we go. Up to 20 laps instead of 15. Oh, they were just announcing the mistake they made 20 laps instead of 15. So it was an accident. Last week we went 20 laps at Daytona. Uh, they were wanting to short it down to 15. They posted 15 in their their bio, but it happens. Everybody makes mistakes, and, uh, you know, we'll run it out. So we'll be here until they're ready to be done. So. Uh, looks like 12 laps left to go here. But, Robert, I tell you, Edwards now uh, stretched that lead almost to three seconds. He's on another level. Oh, he is just running his line. He is making sure he is out front. He's making sure he's just making, hitting his marks. Road courses, you've got to hit your mark. You've got to hit the corners just right. Breaking zones are important. 
on road courses. Absolutely. Is uh, Matt's going to be looking for Edwards to make a few mistakes, and same way with Jones here. We we've not said a whole lot about him, but like I said, finishing P3 last week at Daytona, and that was another tough road course, but he was able to get the job done. So looking at another podium here tonight, as you see Chris Johnson, just a few uh, turns back there. Johnson's still on the lead lap also in the four spot there, and it looks like Modesty is the last car on the lead lap. Rusty there, like I said, last week, P2 at Daytona, pleasure. Uh, you know, unfortunate here tonight so far, Summit Point has not been kind to him, Robert. And I tell you, and, and maybe a lot of these guys, like you said, or maybe the, do you do you think these uh, – what is that? The, the the little curb that is on the side of the turns there, the rumble strips. Does that interfere with a lot of guys as we see? Edwards! Oh, my God! There goes Edwards off the track, and oh his machine God. is totaled. Let's take a look here at the instant replay and bring it up here and see exactly what happened here with Edwards. I cannot believe that he oh, went off that. the track. Oh, boy. Let's take a look here. Oh, boy. And here he goes. He gets up there, and we just talked about the rumble strips. Oh, boy, look at that right there. I tell you, we, hey, Matt wanted to see a mistake, and he got a big one there. As Austin Edwards' race is done for. Tough break right there, Robert. Yeah, that, that's what you hate to see when you're up in the lead. Uh, one mistake can cost you the whole entire race. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, last week he won it at Daytona. He looked promising here again tonight, and those rumble strips, I literally was talking about it right as we saw the crash. And, uh, yeah, they always seem to get me a little bit when I hit the rumble strips, like driving down the freeway, and you hit them and they kind of wake you up. Does it disturb the car a whole lot when you roll over top of them, Robert? Well, from my experience, uh, running the past uh, Spa 24 hours, you got to hit those just right or you will get loose. Well, we saw that happen firsthand there to Austin Edwards, who's back out on the track. He's not a lap down, but he's in the five spot, and he's got nine laps from what they're saying here. If they're going to run the full 20 or 15, not sure, but uh, whatever the case may be, he's still on the lead lap, and he's in the five spot. So he, he was your points leader coming into the night. I'm sure that's going to change now as he's back in the five spot. And uh, Matt Hayden there, your new leader. And uh, when I say leader, I mean I might as well say he's gone. He's got a 21-second lead on second place, Robert. That's unheard of, right, in the road racing? Well, uh, if you can get that lead right there, that's that secures your win almost. Uh, there's a lot of, um, what, what you say, uh, when you get up front, you have to make sure you get a good lead. Because if you don't get a good lead, you're going to get passed instantly. Yeah, absolutely. As we see Jones right now in that two spot, and Chris Johnson here with a good little battle right here. It looks like he's trying to get up and around modesty, and he does right there. What a pass right there. And they're going to dive it into the corner here, and let's see who uses the brakes and who doesn't. Looks like both of these guys showing each other respect in the brake line, and Modesty getting a little loose with it there as he tried to throttle it back up a little soon, but it's all right. Modesty right now sitting back here in the three spot. Excuse me, that's Chris Johnson who got a little bit loose there. Modesty up here, he's cruising. He's like, don't be saying that about me, man. Come on. Modesty in the three spot, and like I said, he finished second last week, so he's a... Uh, Doing a little bit, you know, he's got to make up a lot of ground here with only eight laps left to go here, Robert. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it done. Yeah, he could try to gain some positions. you got to wait for the people up front, like from P1 to P4, to make a mistake. That's that's where you're going to have to hope they make a mistake there and to get your position. Absolutely, as we see it right now, Rusty there in the three spot, Jones in that two, and... They're all trying to chase down Matt. He's your leader right now. He's trying to just maintain a good pace here and just find his way around us. We got Jarrett Lucas off the track back here, and not sure what happened with him. We'll take a quick look here as he goes off the track here and get it rolling. And, woo, okay, and that's not that bad. Uh, well, never mind. It got a little worse. But Lucas, get himself back out there, and he's ready to go here. So, Everybody's still chasing down Matt Jones in that two spot still with Rusty back there in the three and look who it is. He's already up to the he's already catching third. Is Jimmy Johnson off the track back there and like he came back on and Jimmy's on there, so Edwards right now getting ready to chase down Modesty, man. I tell you what, it would be something to see if this man can drive back up through the field and get himself on the podium. Yeah, he must have had a really good pit stop there, uh uh to fix all those repairs and everything. Stay on the lead lap and get more position. That is perfect right there for him. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see and right there. And like I said, Austin the Cone Edwards, man, he's been on a tear here. Uh, he, he doesn't want to come off the points lead, I'm sure, man. Like I said, after the big season opener win at Daytona, 
uh, finding himself right now uh, in that uh, in that in that four spot. He's trying to get up on the podium, but he's going to have to hold a. He's going to have to try to get up here and get around Modesty, and I don't I don't think it's going to be that easy as we got Jimmy Johnson crashed here. Again, let's pull up the instant replay here and see exactly what happened to him. And oh boy, he's going backwards. Holy Jesus! What is that? I'm not 100% sure, but he was Jimmy Johnson trying to get his machine up and rolling, and uh, I think he may have been broke. But we'll get back up here with Modesty as you see him still trying to hold off Edwards here, and he's going to have to. I mean, with six laps left to go here, Robert, I mean, we're, we're cutting him down here. Yeah, we are. He, he can gain some positions here and there. If he gets past Modesty, he can, he can get the position, and he's trying to go for it. He's going for it right now. He's able to make the pass. Yeah, now yep. he's back up there in the podium spot, so good stuff right now for the cone in the P3 as Modesty back to the four spot. And now his next victim he's going to be chasing after is Mr. Jones here in the two spot. Jimmy Johnson coming into the pits after that. He said, I'm going to park it, I think. So uh, five laps left to go here in the Jones Bullshit Racing League. Like I said, if you guys are wanting to get in the road and you like Indies and you like the Lotus and they do oval and dirt and rally trucks, they do it all, man. So check them out. Jones Bullshit Racing. So... Uh, once again, thank you guys for having us on board. Edwards Racing Setup's taking care of us also. And uh, right now, it looks like the setup's working good for Hayden. As you see, Robert, he's got a huge lead up to 27 seconds now. Yeah, his lead is just growing and growing. Um, Edwards can may get back past uh, Jones, but I don't think he will ever get past Hayden. We're going to take a look here again, too. Rusty off the track here, it looks like. We're going to follow up here. Gets up here. He's a little struggling tonight. And you get up here and try to get it rolling and just. Oh, man. Got to get it back up there on the track. So tough break for him as he get it rolling. But looks like Edward's able to get up and also get around the other Jimmy there in the 33 spot or 33 machine. We see Hayden right now coming around. He's going to see four to go next time by. And, man, I tell you what, there ain't a greater feeling in the world, I'm sure, than seeing that. But it looks like Chris Johnson crashed also. Let's take a quick look here at what happened to him. And. He's getting his machine rolling. He makes the turn, and oh boy, hold on to it here. Oh, holy Jesus! Oh boy, that was close right there. He got it looped around, but he's able to get it off the track, and we're back in action here. Four laps left to go, Robert. It's been a pleasure up here, man. I tell you what, some good racing all around here tonight from all these drivers. Oh yeah, it's been some very good racing from this uh, from Jones Bullshit Racing League. They they do some really good racing. Yep, Chris Johnson there in that five spot there, and Jarrett Lucas. We ain't said a whole lot about him tonight. He hasn't really got up to the front a whole lot, and he's just trying to get that machine wrapped around three laps down here tonight. And we see Jimmy back here also. Uh, he's three laps down, and just tough luck here early uh, from the beginning of the race tonight. It was just a complete crash there uh, at the at the grid. So you know some guys may have over overpowered their. Uh, their wheels there at the restart, but hey, with three laps left to go, Aiden is counting them down. He's about three and a half minutes away from Pater, Robert. Yeah, he is. He's getting it. He's getting up there. Um, he's just need to hit his marks and make sure he uh, goes. Make sure he just doesn't overdrive it. Absolutely. I will have these drivers coming up into the booth here. The top three guys will be joining us up here tonight for some post-race interviews. And right now, it's looking like Matt and Jones and Edwards at the moment. We'll see if Edwards, I mean, like I said, he's, he's I don't know if he's going to be able to catch, uh, if he's going to be able to catch Jones. I think the gap's too big with three laps left to go. But I tell you what, the guy put on a hell of a show. He ran the leader down, got in the lead, got in the wreck, had to go pit. I mean, it was almost like a gigantic handicap for him, but he was still able to get himself into P3. If he holds on here, that's, that's a pretty damn good job, Robert. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell, he, he was running good the whole race. Uh, if he can just keep running his marks, making sure he hits the corners right, I, I guarantee he can walk away, walk away with a P1 tonight. Absolutely, as we see these guys out here tonight rocking and rolling, man. Jones Bullshit Racing putting on a great show here tonight in the Lotus 79s. It's, it looks like we got Chris Johnson off the track again here. We'll pull up a, pull up a shot here for you as we see him go again. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, boy. There you have it right there. He was able to get it looped back around, but he got it out of the way there because 
Edwards was probably going to pummel him. So with two laps left to go, Matt, your leader right now with a huge 29-second lead. Jones back here in that two spot. And Edwards in the three. Rusty in the four. Johnson back here in the five. And Jimmy in the 33 in the six spot. And Lucas himself. Oh, he's chilling over there. He's already having a beer in the in the clubhouse, Robert. Oh, yeah. He, he, he's like, oh, I'm done. Yeah, sometimes you, if you just can't make it, you just can't make it. Road course racing is fun. It takes a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of practice to get where you're at in uh, road course racing like uh, Hayden is right now. Yeah, absolutely. As we see the man right now, as he's going to try to bring it home here tonight in that 55 machine. And that Red Bull, one more time around for him. Jones back here in that two spot. As long as he can keep that machine right where it's at, he'll be just fine. And Edwards. Back there out of California, that 118 machine, 16 time XCLL winner, uh, XCAL winner, from what I'm seeing. So good stuff right there, man, as he's got his machine up and rolling. And uh, everybody's a lap down all the way back to the top three guys. So that seems to be the way they're going to do this running order here tonight, Robert. But what a show they put on for us. Oh, yeah, they're putting a good show on tonight. Hey, every, all the racing was good. Uh, mess up on the beginning and looks like we got our winner right here uh hayden yeah hayden's gonna take the win right here and it looks like jones is gonna bring it home into two spot if he can just make it a couple more turns and edward should be able to bring it home into p3 here tonight man it's been a pleasure having you in the booth with us robert ballard jr you guys can find him also live on twitch he does a lot of different races and broadcasting so uh pleasure having you up here robert and we appreciate you and uh, we're gonna get ready to have these top three guys come up here for some post-race interviews but congratulations again to matt jones and edward's gonna bring it home in the top three yeah it's been a pleasure and i hope uh you guys do some good streams i'm glad to be in the booth here absolutely we're gonna get these guys in the discord here we're gonna bring them in here so we're gonna find out where they're at here tonight top three are gonna be getting up here and we're gonna park them up here it looks like edward's already there jones making his way around right now and matt hayden also going to be popping around. So great work tonight from all these drivers. As we get ready to get your interview on the way here, we'll be right back with you in just a moment. All right, we're getting ready to get your top three in here right now. They're getting them pulled up and ready to go. We're going to start off with Austin Edwards. Let me see if he's going to be coming up through the building here in just a moment. I'm sure he's out here, and Austin Edwards is going to slide his way up here into the booth here. I think we got him in here. Austin Edwards, you got a copy. Hey, congratulations again tonight on uh, finding that uh, finding that P3 here, man. And I tell you, it's not something easy to do. You were out there early. And you had a strong performance, and you hit that rumble strip, and it went the wrong way. Yeah, absolutely. It was a, we had a great start. Picked up, I think, at least four spots on the initial start there, and just uh, started working with Matt and uh, Rusty there, trying to get by them, and uh, eventually found some clear air, and then uh, just got a little bit too confident in the car. You know, the bumps are rough in these things, so uh, just got a little bit too confident in the last corner and just barely clipped the back tire into the grass, and uh, it was game over at that point. So managed to uh, get into the pits and put some new tires on it and bed some stuff back straight and uh, came back to third. Yeah, absolutely. You guys hear them right there. That's Austin Edwards, P3 here tonight. He won it at Daytona last week, but P3 here tonight, not bad. Uh, like I said, well-dominated car, man. You got up there, you got the lead. It was awesome to watch, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, accidents do happen, and that's the way it is. Uh, who are you thinking tonight, Austin? A little bit thanks to you guys putting on this broadcast and everybody at JBSRL putting on these great shows. This is a real fun league, and uh, usually coming here and I'm able to stomp the field. So today wasn't one of those nights, but uh, – Great win to Matt and good performance on Ed, and uh, we'll see if we can get him next week. Sounds good. There you have it. Austin the Cone Edwards in here tonight, P3. We appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, guys. All right. We're going to slide in here and see if we can get our number two driver in here tonight, if we can get Mr. Jones in here. Jones, you got a copy? 
Yes, sir, I do. There you have it. Your P2 driver up three spots from where he qualified. I tell you what, Jones, we were talking about the start there. It looked rough. I thought maybe the admins were going to say, hey, let's stop it and get a restart going here. But, hey, we kept it going. And I tell you what, it worked out good for some of these guys as you found yourself P2 here tonight. Break down your race. Uh, just one of attrition, being one of the only guys that didn't mess up and have to go to pit lane. Uh, it feels like that's going to be a constant thing with these cars. Uh, you know, most of us aren't road course racers, and, you know, there's a couple of us that can, but I'm definitely not one of those. You know, heck, I was three seconds off of Austin's fastest lap there, and it's just keeping the car clean. That, that's all you got to do. Yeah, absolutely. That's the key part here is uh, being able to hit your marks, not mess up. And uh, we saw it with uh, we saw it a little bit with uh, Austin there as he was going through the field, no problem. Got up to Hayden, made the pass, and I'm sure Hayden was happy to just settle for second at that point. But then Austin just went off the rails, and uh, the rest is history. But great work out there tonight, Jones. It was a pleasure uh, seeing you guys out here. Uh, who you like to thank? I'd like to thank uh, Night Hype Motorsports for being here and broadcasting this ERS. Um, Austin Edwards does all the setups for these Lotus 79s. Um, if you guys need anything iRacing related when it comes to setups, check out Edwards Racing Setups. They are 100% free. Um, JR Button Boxes, you know, I run one right here. Helps me with all my admin duties. And, you know, all my admins, just everybody does a great job every, each and every week for all seven series. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff right there tonight. Jones, bringing it home, P2. We appreciate you, buddy. We'll see you next week. Hey, thank you. All right, that was Jones there. We're going to get our next guy out here. He's going to be Mr. Hayden himself here. We'll see if we can get him slide up here in the booth here. Give me just a second. Trying to figure out exactly where he's at here. We'll get Hayden in here in a moment. Uh, where is Hayden, 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 Hayden? It's like Matt Hayden's down here. We'll slide him up. Give me a I can hear boys. All right. Oh, bring him up. There we go. All right. Hey, Hayden, you got a copy. You got us in the booth. Hey, I got you guys. Hey, great run out there tonight, man. It was awesome to watch, man. You had the lead for like the first seven or eight laps, and then Austin came up, gave a little pressure to you. He said, hey, look, man, I'm cool with second. It looked like you let him go, and then, hey, he just ran himself straight into a wall. Hayden, break down your race a little bit for us here tonight. Yeah, that was kind of the plan. Was um, at first off, it was it was nice. I'm not a I'm an oval track guy. I don't pick these road courses. And last season, uh, Eddie and Jared Lucas put on a great GT3 league and uh, got a lot of experience on tracks just like this. And um, you know, kind of kind of helped me out. But just wanted to stay clean. I I know that was one of the things I learned was just kind of race yourself you know, put down consistent laps, you know, there, there's going to be guys. Austin, Austin is one of the fastest guys in I racing period. I mean, that's when you see him come up on your bumper, you know, if you're staying ahead of him, you're doing the right thing, but you know, there's only so many, so many perfect laps you can put down. So, uh, just got lucky there, you know, putting down consistent, uh, consistent laps all night. Yeah, absolutely. You can't complain. I mean, you qualified first, finished first. That's the way you want to do it. Uh, who are you thinking tonight, Hayden? Well, I want to thank the guys over at Checkered Flag Motorsports. Uh, we got a good uh, good thing going across the league. You know, uh, JBSRL's got uh, a lot of a lot of great leagues, so a lot of great drivers and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I've got uh, Harold and Jimmy Fitz, uh, Rusty Mossy over there. We've, we've we've kind of built things up. You know, Michael Cray is winning our modified races left and right. So we've got a lot of momentum. We're going to just keep trying to try to win race, races through this league. Yeah, absolutely, and that's the way you got to do it. But congratulations again tonight on the big win. Matt going to take it here tonight. It was a pleasure having you in the booth, Matt. We appreciate you, and good luck next week, buddy. All right, thank you guys for the broadcast. I'll do an excellent job. I appreciate it. We'll see you next week, bye. Thanks. All right, so there you have it. That's a wrap on tonight, man. We appreciate Jones Bullshit Racing League having us be a part of their great, great league they got on there and all the great sponsors they have. Once again, Matt, uh, Matt Hayden bring home the win here tonight. Jones in the two, and Edwards in that P3 spot. And uh, Robert Powell Jr., awesome, man. I appreciate you being in the booth with me tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be here. It was a one heck of a race. There you have it. Until next week, folks, we will see you next Wednesday. Good night.